All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. November 3rd, 2017. Very quick video here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos I posted yesterday. <laughs> uh, uh, Griff uh, Green over here trying to be hip hoppy. Uh, uh, let me see what's going on here. I only got one article for you guys on this channel. Uh, so we're going to talk about it. It's the. Um, it's basically zero hour uh, for liberation here. A body has not fully announced the liberation of uh, the entire area of Kwaim and Rawa yet, but it's uh, he's on the urge. Uh, several sites have done breaking news that uh, Iraq is fully liberated of ISIS and Daesh today. A body, of course, is always the last one to do it because he has to get all of the information from the commanders and lieutenants first and the generals, and they have to walk through the land, and then he will make it official. So it could be over the weekend that a body makes it over, uh, makes it official. They have storm the center of the uh, of the uh, you know of several axes and uh, in the area of Kwaim, uh Western Anbar, Rawa. So. They're in the center. They have all the territories back. I did post on Twitter. Iraq has every territory back uh, in in their country. Uh, so now they just have to go through the motions, meaning they have to walk through all the towns, make sure everybody is out, you know, everything that is all evil is out that needs to be out, and then they can give the thumbs up to a body, and then he will address the world as Iraq is fully liberated from ISIS and Daesh in their entire country. And this is going to be the stability we need to see from Malak to raise that value, you know, maybe November 15th or or or, or by 1118, right? So uh, we want to see something by 1118, and a body's not going to have any excuses once he makes this announcement that ISIS and Daesh are completely liberated from his country, okay? And so we want to see something soon we want to see something, and when I mean soon, I mean now between 1118. That is soon. That's within that's under 60 days, okay? I'm going to be doing a countdown on the main channel uh, until 11118 because that, you know, once that day comes, we no longer talk about Iraq. So I'll be doing a countdown. So my videos will be a countdown video for until 11, for the wake up of 1118, okay? So I'm guessing it's like 59 days away or something like that. So I'll be doing a countdown over there. I This is Iraq's timeline that they need to, to make sure that they're international. But as I said before, they're not going to have any excuses once Dash is, once somebody makes that announcement that Dash is fully gone. And he's going to make it soon. Okay, he said them, he, he quoted it. Back early October, it was going to be in November, <laughs> okay? Uh, and we were only ones who told the internet about it. <laughs> I don't know why the other people didn't say anything, um, but we said it was going to be in November, and people got really upset, and that was one of the that was one of my worst disliked videos of all times um, because a body I had uh, quoted uh, and had had it coded for November, and what and so we were, we were going to go through all of October without seeing. Uh, I, you know, Kwaim and Rawa liberated, and uh, I knew that. So once he made it quoted, once he quoted it and, and coded it uh, for November, I was like, okay, you know, now now we'll see how long it takes in November. But he said it wouldn't go no longer than the last week of November. So you know, what I mean, it was gonna be in November. So we're we're very close now. It looks like over the weekend we could probably hear from a body. Or, you know, or any time now, we can hear from a body uh, as they walk through the land and uh, as the land is now liberated, every territory is back in Iraq's position or possession. Okay, urgent hours of historic victory in Iraq and the liberation of the whole of the dashing. Yes. Uh, Iraq is preparing in the next few hours for a historic victory to liberate all its territories. Yes, and of course, which was taken over by the fall of Mosul in 2014 as um, Maliki uh, allowed his, uh, well, actually Maliki forced his, uh, his, his uh, Iraqi forces army to drop their weapons and run, and then, and then he allowed ISIS to pick those weapons up and go terrorize all of Iraq. Um, we remember that, and Maliki was not punished for that, 
decision and not, you know, wasn't hasn't been trialed and anything. He took a deal and he's still alive. He still has access to all the buildings. He's still a puppet uh, or a puppet master or whatever to a lot of these people in parliament. And uh, yeah, and maybe even, even including a body, some people are saying from Iraq, they're saying a body still being uh, controlled by Maliki. So it's uh, that's kind of weird because a body has his own billions of dollars in offshore accounts. Uh, maybe maybe the reason why uh, he could be is because he got his position because of Maliki. So he does own he does owe Maliki something because without Maliki, he probably doesn't have the finance minister that he got though that position. So Maliki's the one who put him in the position to become the guy in power. So sometimes you have you know it, you know the the person who got you to the top. You know you have to at least. Like, I right, look, man, you know, he got me here, so I can't really, I can't really, you know, get him in, I can't really put him in prison, because he got me here, you know, the reason I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, so maybe that's what's going on, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, we're, we're, you know, the last thing we need to see now is just uh, Prime Minister Abadi make this announcement, but he's got to wait until uh, everything is done, uh, and, uh, you know, so they're saying that the, you know, the Joint Operations Command Center is saying that the uh, al Qaim district will be liberated very soon here within the next hour. So uh, we shall see what a body has planned. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll see what a body has planned, um, what type of speech he has planned. And if this speech comes with purchasing power and uh, re-entering re the global stages, um, with no restrictions, right? So we'll see what type of speech a body gives. It might just give a speech to saying, look, the whole land is liberated and, uh, and we thank all our forces and um, we thank everybody. So I don't know if it's going to be a thank you speech to the to the uh, armies, uh, you know, or is it going to be a speech of we are ready to enter the international stage. Come on in. Iraq is free. Let's go. We're going to now give purchasing power. I want. I would love to hear something like that as well, but you never. We we don't know. Okay, we don't know. But it is. It is. Um. It is fitting that Baghdadi was in the news. Um. Uh, Baghdadi's in the news. You know. You have uh, as Qaim and Rawa come to an end. We got Baghdadi in the news. We have, uh, you know, Iraq uh, forces retaking all of the territory so they can activate Water Cool One Forty. Uh, we got all these things that Bazani stepping down. He must have took a deal, a really sweet deal. Probably got to keep all the all stolen oil money. Um, so all these things are happening as Iraq is about to uh, be announced a full liberation for the entire country. Isn't that something? And Alak is sitting there about to make a, either a speech or, or give some type of documentation that he's about to, re, uh, you know, that the pa purchasing power has started or something like that, hopefully here soon. You know, we, we want to see that the project to delete the three zeros has started, has been implemented, and uh, we're going to raise the value here to one-to-one -to -one for purchasing power to bring in the three zero notes. That's what we want to see from here from a lot. Okay, so that's it. That's all I had to say. Let's look at the uh, cryptos real quick. Um if you're on Instagram, my Instagram is currently 365 on Instagram. I just uh, did a video before I came on here about uh, Segwit 2X. Okay, so you might want to check that out. Um, and let's see. And actually, let me go to Electronium. We still haven't gotten access to our wallets for Electronium to sell our Electronium. So I had two. I had a, at when Electronium when I saw Electronium at two dollars. I was up two point one point four million dollars, and I could not sell my electronium. Ain't that uh? I mean, you want to talk about? And now it's at six cents. Okay, so it's hanging on. It's at six cents. Um, unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. It's still a good price for where we, you know, a lot of us bought it under one cent, right, in the ICO. So we're able to sell, let's say, at five cents, six cents, four cents, three cents. It still would be good, but man, we saw it at two dollars. We even saw it at one dollar. We saw it at fifty cents. It was at thirty cents for almost like eight hours, and we couldn't sell because we don't have our wallets. I mean, you talk about six, seven figures out the window because we couldn't. I mean, you're talking about life-changing money out the window for many of us. Okay, 
I think one of my I think uh, one of my boys said he at, at that two dollar range he was up like twenty one million or something. You know, I mean, like, come on, man, like, unbelievable what they've, you know, how how horrible the ICO has been for uh, Electronium and getting people's wallets out. Um, but it doesn't mean that the future won't be bright. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I, I need to text Prophet of Solomon and ask her uh, about um, about Electronium's future and what God has to say about it. I, 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 I was supposed to pray last night about Electronium. Did I even pray? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I pray this morning about Electronium uh, and uh, see what God shows me in my afternoon nap, and hopefully He can show me something about it in my afternoon nap. Uh, maybe you know, maybe the future is bright, and maybe you know it, it recovers back to like 50 cents in the next two months. So maybe God's saying, "Look, I got you." You know, it's gonna be at 50 cents in the next two months when all this chaos is over. Uh, chill. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I would love to sell my electronium so I could, you know, get ready and, and put it back into Bitcoin so I could get that Segwit 2X coin, which is sitting at $2,000 right now per coin. I remember I told you guys that we could see Segwit 2X when the time comes, it would be probably around $1,300 to $1,700. Well, right now it's at $2,000. Okay, so that's even better. So every Bitcoin you own, you will get one seg with 2x coin you know and those coins are going for two thousand dollars a piece right now and we still have about 13 days to go before the snapshot picture for seg with 2x bitcoin could easily go to ten thousand dollars and i told you guys it was going to go to 8500 by the seg with 2x remember so we're close okay uh i thought you know you know, I did see the dream that we were, we went down and um and and the bottom was 4900, but we didn't touch the 4900 bottom. We touched 5300, and then I did and then in my dream it went straight up. It went straight up, right? So that's what would happen. We went to 5300 dip, and that was about a, maybe a 28 percent dip down, and then we went straight up and went to 7400. So far, we're sitting at 7256, and we're gonna go continue to go up all the way to Segwit 2x. And to take that picture because right now that coin is worth two thousand dollars per Bitcoin. So the more Bitcoin you hold, the more free money you're going to earn. Okay, so I would love to sell the Latronium and then and then put it and then have it right in the Bitcoin, and so I could get a massive amount of free money. Okay, because each Bitcoin is each Bitcoin you hold is worth right now an a free money of two thousand dollars. So. That's a why a lot of people are in Bitcoin right now. And, you know, now people are going to say, well, the altcoins are up today. Well, Bitcoin Cash is up today. The altcoins are not really up. The altcoins are up within the last 24 hours. That is that is uh, misleading a little bit here. You know what I mean? Because they've been down so much that if, you, if they just stable, as you can see here, you see how this is stable? So it's up 4% in the last 24 hours. But it's not moving, okay? It's not moving. Litecoin ain't moving. It's just stable. And because it was down so much to, in last 24 hours ago, it's up 4 or 5% today. It doesn't mean that it's really going up. It's just stable today. And, and that's why it's up green. So it's a little misleading when you look at these altcoins prices because you can look, I mean, look at the price, 55 bucks. Litecoin's been there for a, all week, right? Uh, NEO at 26. I told you guys to grab some NEO at 24, 23. And that's exactly where it went to. And now it's going to go right back to 30, in my opinion. Um, a miso go. I told you guys to grab in uh, between 550 and 650, and it's moving now. Okay, a little bit here. It still has some. It's still got to. It's you know. It's got to get to at least back to 850. But you know, whatever. The fun begins on the miso go if it crosses back over 10 dollars. Uh, EOS continuing to just explode up now. So those who got in with Jason and Four at 50 cents, 60 cents are looking good now. They're up 100 percent of their value. So that's good. I hope a lot of you guys got your money back from uh, made a lot of more, a lot made some of your money back from uh, that scam site of uh, Bit Petty or whatever Bit Petty or whatever it's called. Um, I know I know for me personally, only three people I think were active in in that in that one that that you know, that Bit Petty thing. So uh, and I and I did tell everybody only risk what you can afford to lose. Also, so um, you know it is what it is. Um, you know what I mean? So 
you only risk what you can afford to lose on these ICO and, and these platforms. Uh, Bit, Bit Petty wasn't even an ICO. It was just a platform with no blockchain on it. It was high risk. Everybody knew it. Jason and Force said it a million times. High risk, high risk, high risk. We could lose everything. Only put a small amount in here and just try, try it out for six weeks. And many people put their whole life savings in it and uh, got burned big time. So it is what it is. A lesson learned. Never do that uh, ever. OK, <laughs> um, always diversify and spread your money around uh, and only put money in that you can only that you can afford to lose. OK, and, and, and if you're going to if you're going to risk big money, you better it better be in Bitcoin because you know that Bitcoin is the head of all cryptocurrencies. So if Bitcoin fails, everything fails with it. So if you're going to risk big on cryptocurrency, then it better be in Bitcoin. Right. So, you know, what I mean, because if Bitcoin falls, everything falls with it. If Bitcoin fails, everything is like there's no there's no, uh, you know, Ethereum. There's no Bitcoin cash. There's no Litecoin without Bitcoin. So if you're going to risk, if you're going to put money in, if you're going to put your money in one thing, it better be Bitcoin. Right. You know, because that is the head that if you cut Bitcoin off. Everything is going to fall with it. So. You know that's what you should. That's what you should be doing. You shouldn't be going eight thousand dollars deep into an ICO or to a a, a a platform that doesn't even have a blockchain on it. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and tells you that it's going to return you one hundred and forty-seven percent back in six weeks. You shouldn't be putting eight thousand dollars in it. Like I, I, everybody told Jay Snip not to do it, and he still did it, right? And then everybody followed him to do it as well, putting in eight thousand, nine thousand, and now they're crying. Be on, on, you know, because of it, but no one told you to do that. You could have put two hundred dollars in it and just tested, tested it out. When these ICO platforms come, guess how much I put? I put a hundred dollars here, two hundred dollars there. That money I can afford to lose, and I test these sites out. If it goes ten x, great. I just made two thousand dollars off my two hundred bucks, right? So let's just like electronium. I only put a few bucks in there. I put like a hundred dollars in electronium, right? And then I went in, and then and then I and then I promoted it. Okay, um, to to get the to get the free coins, um, and, and anybody could have done that. Everybody can do that. There's Facebook groups, there's Twitter. Everybody can do what I do. You know what I mean? Uh, and and the smart people, that's what they did. They promoted, they 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 put money in it, and then they promoted it to get free coins to to make their investment back ten ten times a hundred times their value, right? So just think about that. You know what I mean? And with BitConnect, only put money that you can afford to lose. You know. Put money in only that you can afford to lose. I'm going to continue to say that because people are putting in, he will put all this money in. BitConnect should be able to last for at least another year. I, I'm going to give BitConnect another year uh, and then maybe they'll have some problems after that. But I know the data sets say it's going to last at least another year. You know, it's going to implode at some point, but it's going to probably last another year or two. Okay. So BitConnect, you know, what, I, what I'm doing is I, I got to a, a, a place that I can. Um, you know, make, you know, I mean, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put more money in a little bit after, um, the fork is over and everything like that. But I want to get to a place where I'm making like a hundred dollars a day or, you know what I mean? Or something like that. I don't, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to scale it up to 3000. Like I thought I was going to, because I can see that, you know, a lot of these sites are going down and, and I don't want to be caught in that. Right. So I'm happy where I'm at right now. I'm big connect, uh, with the money I'm in when I, so I might just keep it where I'm at right now and just go promote and just go promote it. Or, or, because uh, I'm going down with the ship, you know what I mean? Whenever it implodes, I'm going down with the ship, like I told you guys. So, uh, I'm, I might do that, or I might scale it up a little bit more, and then, and then just chill for the rest of the time, and just take the money and be, and throw it into Bitcoin. You know, every time I make money in Bitcoin, every time people come in, every time the interest can, continues to go up and up and, and make me money, I'll take that money and I'll throw it into Bitcoin. That's what I've been doing. I've been throwing my money back into Bitcoin, okay? And just stacking Bitcoin with the interest, okay? So get to a point where you want and then just and then start buying Bitcoin. And then you can, you know, pay your rent with Bitcoin. You can sell things, buy and sell with Bitcoin, but you're buying Bitcoin going up or down you just every day you're just buying bitcoin and that's what i'm doing now with my bitconnect money okay so that's it i'm not staking bitconnects i'm not doing any s i think people are risking way too much there's people out there with four hundred thousand dollars in in bitconnect staking and three hundred thousand in bitconnect uh tokens you're risking every that should be in bitcoin not bitconnect right um 
You know what I mean? Even though BitConnect will be going up probably with the next four months, it could go up massively. You know what I mean? Um, still, you're you're betting on a site because when the site goes down, the whole thing crashes. The the staking, your the value of the coin goes down fifty percent instantaneously, right? So and, and if the site doesn't come back up, everything go everything everybody will sell all their BitConnect immediately, right? So you're betting on a site. And that's the and, that, and that's not that's not sustainable, right? Because every site goes down, every site goes down, every site has problems, every site disappears, right? And basically, you know, so no site is up for 20, 40 years, right? Every site goes away. Um, so you don't want to bet on the site, and you don't want to have five, half a million dollars in, in tokens betting on the site. I'd rather bet on Bitcoin and not BitConnect, right? So when I take my money, I'm gonna I'm moving it into Bitcoin because that's what that's the head of cryptocurrencies. And if that falls, everything falls with it, right? And I can get out of Bitcoin as well while it's falling. I can get out of it, right? If that ever had, did happen, I could get out of it. BitConnect, my money's in BitConnect site, you know, and and and, and staking. I can't get access to it any longer, right? So. You know, unless my big connect is on hit BTC or or um, coin payments or whatever the case, you know, what I mean, and then I can sell it there, you know, but if it's on the site and I'm staking it, I don't have access to that if the site goes down and disappears. Um, so that's another big thing. So for those holding all those BitConnect tokens on, on the site, you better, I would, why not move that to Bitcoin, which is king of the crypto land. And you know, you're way safer in that way as Bitcoin continues to rise all the way up to a hundred thousand plus. Uh, so anyways, talk to you guys later. Peace out. Eyes open.